And four times in three months. That's how many times this volcano in Iceland has erupted. Fountains of lava shooting through the air Saturday night, prompting evacuations in tourism hotspots and neighboring towns. Experts say this is the largest eruption in recent years and could have major implications if the lava reaches the sea. Ricky Peterson from the Nordic Research Center joins us now live. Uh, Ricky, it's great to have you. Thank you. As you know, this is the fourth eruption since December. How common is it to have such an active volcano? Well, in Iceland, we have more than 30 active volcanoes, so uh, eruptions are quite frequent here, but the regular um, interval would be at about four years uh, in between. So now with an eruption per month, this is rather unusual. Wow. So this eruption, it led to the evacuation of one of Iceland's most popular tourist spots, the Blue Lagoon. How long is this evacuation anticipated and how do you see it impacting the country's tourism industry? Well, the evacuation went really smoothly. There were about 700 guests in the Blue Lagoon um, at the time of the eruption. And 40 minutes later, it was all cleared. Uh, so that went really well. The, of course, the, um, it, the the Blue Lagoon is closed uh, currently as the eruption is still going on, though at a very um, minute uh, uh, eruption rate at this point. Uh, but until the eruption is over, it will not be reopened. Um, currently, there is the risk of gas pollution in the area. And today, actually, the gas levels were so high that also the power plant near, nearby um, were evacuated again due to the air pollution. Wow. And these images, you know, we're taking them in. They are just stunning. So a common concern we outlined at the top of this story is not letting lava hit the sea or at least keeping people away when it does. Uh, would you mind explaining, Ricky, why that is and what's being done now to prevent that from happening? Yes, uh, so there have been pre uh, installed preventive dikes or built preventive dikes in the area around the small fishing village to the south, which is called Grindavik, uh, to, to protect the village from the lava flows. And the lava flows have um, reached the, the protective dikes and then flown along uh, these dikes towards the sea. The problem when a lava flow uh, hits the sea is that you will uh, form uh, dangerous uh, uh, gases uh, when the when the sea starts boiling, and of course that that is uh, not an area you should stay in. However, the eruption is now so minute. I hardly, I really doubt that the lavas will actually reach the, the sea this time. But of course, that is a risk as long as it's going on, but uh, a, a rather limited risk by now. Oh, we're certainly happy at this hour. Everyone is safe. Uh, Ricky Peterson, thank you so much for weighing in today. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.